One of the methods of reducing lung volume is surgery. Surgery's goal is to remove an abnormal or broken bit of lung to allow the healthy lung to work better by physically taking it out of the chest. Now this used to be done through a really quite large operation involving a cut that runs down the breastbone at the front. And through that cut, we would take bits of both lungs out at the same time. We've moved from that to using keyhole techniques through small cuts at the side. And we've now advanced even further to use robotic te techniques that allow us to manipulate the lung and have 3D vision inside the chest. The, the robot itself allows us a lot more freedom of movement. It lets us find the bits of the lung that are, are broken using special uh, dyes while you're asleep to see how blood flows through the lung. And it lets us target specific areas of the lung that we know aren't working well. Using this technique, we can take off that whole area that we know isn't working and let the rest of the lung do its job really, really well afterwards. So from a risk and benefit point of view, this is a very safe and good operation. The vast majority of people get a really good benefit in their breathing with this and they feel better. And that lots of studies show us that people live longer with this operation. As with any operation, there can be risks. And the first risk that we see is air leaking from the lung. We put staples in that seal the lung, but air can still leak through those staples. And so we leave drains in at the end of the operation. And then the vast majority of patients, that air leak stops within a day or two, and we can take those drains out. In a few patients though, the air leaks for longer than that. And in rare cases, people would even go home with the drain in after a couple of weeks. There's also a small risk of chest infection or other even more rare complications, but your surgeon will be able to go through those with you at the clinic appointment. As a patient, the first time you'll meet a surgeon is at our clinic. And we can sit down with you and we'll go through the operation in as much or as little detail as you want. Uh, we can describe what we do, what we use, and we can show you pictures of these things as well. We'll be able to explain all the risks and benefits at this stage and let you make a decision about what is best for your, your own care. If you're happy to go ahead with an operation, we bring you back to our pre-op appointments. And there you'll, we will do several investigations just to make sure that we haven't missed anything in the workup. You'll also meet with our anaesthetists, our nurses, our junior doctor team, and the surgeon will sit down with you themselves and go through the risks and benefits again. If you're happy enough to go ahead with the operation, we'll schedule you for your surgery. You come into the hospital on the day of your surgery. There's no pre-admission the day before. And when you arrive, we check in with you, we'll do a blood test, and we'll confirm that everything is, is still safe to go ahead with the operation. You then come on down to the theatre. Often you walk down yourself or we bring you on a portable chair and we greet you when you arrive. We'll ask you a few silly questions like who you are and why you're there. And it's not that we'll have forgotten between then and now. It's just our way of double checking to make sure everything is extra safe. Then it's quickly off to sleep and we bring you into the theatre properly to start the operation. The operation itself takes about an hour to an hour and a half and you're asleep throughout the entire thing. When you wake up, you'll be in the recovery ward and you'll, be, you'll have a nurse who's solely dedicated to looking after you in this time. Once we're happy that you're safe, we'll repeat an x-ray and if that's good, we'll get you back to our normal ward. There, there's a, a nurse for every two patients who you're very closely looked after. When you get back to the ward, our goal is to make sure you're as pain-free as possible and our nursing team and doctor team will work hard with you to make sure that's the case. You'll also be visited regularly by the physiotherapist who'll get you up walking very quickly. Our goal is to get you home after about two days in the hospital, and most people would achieve this. However, some people do spend a bit longer, and a few people spend even a couple of weeks on the ward.